right, guys, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to go ahead and use our, our set calculator for about 30 minutes, see how much we can make, right? New stuff just came out. Um, so the market's kind of in flux right now. We'll see what we can do. I get the question all the time. How do I make a gazillion coins? And it's easy as long as you know what to buy at what price and what to sell everything at. It's really not hard. I made a tool for you. We'll dive in and use it. Um, let's go ahead and switch right over. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do it for about 30 minutes. Um, I'll start the timer. We'll go through. I have a couple things in my binder, but right now nothing is up for sale. Right? Auction house is closed. We have 54,417,000. So we'll go ahead and find out how much we can make in 30 minutes. I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going to start the timer. This is how much I have faith in this to start working. And then we're going to go through and start taking a look at what we want to buy. So first, uh, if you don't have the this tool, this guy right here, save it to your favorites, right? Get a copy of it, save it to your favorites. Um, and we're going to use this to find out what we want to buy and sell things at. So first, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at 94s, right? What we do is we take old sets, old sets, older sets anyway from previous programs. And we build them up because they're easy and cheap and people forget about them and just stupid coins to still be made we look went through i'm um, 94 playoff players sorted by price filtered down through and it looks like they're still going for about 285 which is okay yeah still selling here for 285 i'm gonna be a little bit conservative here and just say 280 i'm gonna build them all for 280 right so there's 280 once i sell it i'm gonna get back 252,000. um that means i have to buy 91s under 50,000. and if i want to go down I can buy the 88s to build 91s for under 10,000. Um, I've already marked all these down. I am going to double check the 93s also real fast. Let's go through this. Uh, again, if you need a link to this, if you don't have it already, it'll be in the description down below. It's the first tab on this. Uh, Carmichael is back up to the top. Let's see what he's at. 168. Double sold for a little bit lower. Some for a little bit higher. So 161. Let's go 170. Sounds about safe on this and i did this this more this morning live on stream over on twitch and on youtube so if you're not there pop in and take a look um so let's see 90s bill 93 so 30k for 90s and 6,487s. So i'm probably not going to go down that low um and look for those probably just the 30s i'm probably just going to go to 9091s that's how easy this filter is um we'll see how much we can make kind of quick so let's go back over to the xbox side pull this back up and we'll dive in and just start seeing what we can make again i have i think i have 391s and that's about it right now uh, so if you're not familiar with how we do this we go down we filter by newest uh, and then we'll go to 9091s and then just go through the programs that have 90 and 91s in them it's not even all of them so it makes it a little bit easier to kind of flow through move kind of quick um, again 90s under 30 91s under 49 um, ideally i'd like like 45 right around there be pretty good um, of course, as I was looking earlier, I found a bunch kind of quick. That's why I bought those three real quick as I was just setting up for the video. I'm like, let me, you know, make sure these are, we're in a good spot right now, but they, um, busy enough auction house to start buying stuff up. Like these will work. It's only a little bit, right? It's only 2k. Um, but I'll take it because we'll see what the prices are. Maybe it'll be a little bit higher when we go to sell things off. Maybe it'll be a little bit lower. Um, but I'd rather get a little bit more volume right now than nothing at all. Some are heavier than others. Once you learn what programs have one in it, uh, it gets a little bit, you know, or each, you know, what program has what overalls in them. It's a little bit easier for you to fly through these. Um, 29, I'm actually going to skip on that. I want a little bit lower on 90s. I know I said 30, anything under that is good, but uh, I want um, substantially lower, right? I want substantially lower than that. All right, so there's two 91s already. Uh, that's only, we're only at like 6K win rate right now though. So we're not, uh, not real high. Uh, we want to get hopefully get that up quite a bit some of these people forget about pretty often like this is four we can grab that i don't hate that this is just it you just buy these up real quick uh, it's not always it's not always this easy sometimes it's a whole lot harder but if you're on um early morning or later uh in the evening time like sometimes are better than midday when everybody's on buying and selling stuff um this one here 45 so just sitting there we'll see if we still get that way down there we did not because other people know what's going on and they're buying up the same stuff so you got to be a little bit quick sometimes but uh, hopefully we can kind of squeeze through and get a bunch of these in a half hour um i have some guys that'll pop on and stream and say they're pulling like three four hundred thousand coins an hour doing this exact same method um, non-stop so if you're missing out on stuff you don't have the coins for what you want you can't just go out and buy whatever you want and it's driving you nuts um, I looked away for two seconds man 
um if you can't yeah if you can't go out and buy whatever you want like the game sucks then right the game sucks if you can't buy whatever you want brand new stuff comes out this new program things are pretty dang expensive um but if you know how to do this you could do this for an hour and then just go buy whoever you want right um to try to make it a little bit uh a little easier for you to figure out so far just a couple low ones nothing nothing too busy missed out on the 140k one like that's nice you grab a couple 40k ones you can make 50k per set off of some of these again not super common but also not super uncommon either um you'll even find some in the 30s and just take a nice big profit off of each card that makes it all a whole lot easier in the 90s here 227 like these aren't too too bad i try not to build a ton of the lower ones but uh, they're there for the taking so i might as well grab it and run with it sell those off at 170 um sometimes we can overprice them a bit and get them out for a little bit higher too let's see ideally i want to find at least three or four more kind of quick closer to 45 right ideally i want 91s closer to 45 than 49 even though that's our break even point but the lower we get obviously the more we're going to take in per set the goal is to make as many sets as you can as fast as you can um and get that win rate going a lot easier if it's refreshed and the longest part is just waiting for the game to refresh all the new stuff um and then remembering to go back and make sure you don't skip over certain programs like redux um and angry runs those kind of get missed over a lot like right here i haven't hit redux in a minute there's a couple and there's brand new reduxes today so there should be people looking for reduxes quite a bit we still got that one that's a seven thousand coin win on that one card we could sell it right now but we're going to turn that into a little bit extra profit by doing the set because the sets are a little bit more expensive than the set pieces themselves right now it's not always that way 95s are that way you can't build 95s right now for any kind of profit right because 92s are still just too expensive so instead of building 95s you can snipe 89s and build 92s and then that's it you can't go any higher than that but right now every set 92 93 and 94 are all profitable if you build those up and sell off those pieces um, meaning you can snipe everything from 87 up through 89 or 87 through 91 and you know turn those into something a little bit more um it's kind of nice we're in like a really good spot with the market right now believe it or not it's kind of wild um those have 89 it's not the new not new 91s new program throws me off uh by the way i'm digging the new program i like the anime aspect to it i'm not even a big anime guy i don't watch any anime but uh new stuff in the game is always like i like it take the risk on it right try something new maybe it's great maybe it sucks but you know nothing ever changes if they don't at least try something new so i'll take it i was stoked jamal adams got a card though like he has some of the best interviews on the planet if you've ever looked at his pokemon um interview like it wasn't about pokemon but like it, pokemon came up and like he got all like i don't know irritated about the questions from the reporter and it was actually pretty hysterical so if you've not seen that uh definitely go check that out um i double tap blitz on accident that always drives me nuts when i do that expecting nothing to change because almost never does it change over especially on a low program like that with not a whole lot of stuff coming in and out of it um saturday should be wild this weekend a new ultimate Legends is coming out i'm kind of anticipating anywhere from six to ten new ultimate legends to come out which will flood absolutely flood the auction house people will start buying a ton of stuff up um as long as they're good which i would imagine they would be if they do something like they did last year um with the ultimate legend chems for position something like that chemistries have been off the chain this year uh, more more and more and more complex and more almost necessary than ever before um i'm not a giant fan of it but it's the world we live in so uh i'm expecting something anyway on saturday with those couple little run of decent cards here we bought up uh, i don't remember how much you started out if we go back and watch the beginning of the video but a couple hundred thousand worth of cards already um as we start to buy more and more you'll see i'll start getting a little bit more picky right now i won't take a 2000 coin card i'm gonna start you know i'll start stretching out like okay market's feeling good right now we're in a good spot we can start turning that around and uh make a whole lot more if we get a little bit more patient instead of you know eating up slots with stuff that we won't make as uh as much on even though we do want to make as many sets as possible i kind of look for at least like three to four thousand coins per card to add on like this one's only you know 1400 i'm not going to take that one um we'll skip that one and then we'll go on and look for something else a little bit more like under 27 ish um that gives you a little bit of cushion too in case the prices change like while you're looking for stuff is that going to happen you know especially new program days if something get flood up people start selling off their teams they start doing this or that um 
prices can change quick. So don't, uh, you know, leave your margins like too, too small. You know, like we're saying like, okay, buy everything under 49. Okay, well, everything 49 and under is where you're going to take, you know, your win rate, your profit at. But if you leave that margin too slow and those prices drop just 5K, now you're kind of stuck holding the bag and like now you're hoping to just break even, not lose out. And you've wasted a half hour of your time trying to buy some stuff up. Um, so just be careful with that. You would find a few more in a run. That was coming to waves though. We catch like four or five in a row. Then we get nothing for like two, three minutes. Um, and then we'll get flooded up again. It all depends on who's opening up packs and what they're pulling. There's only the new the new program packs out today. There's really nothing else out there. I guess there is um, the honors ones out too, but I think those are just cash packs. I'm not buying. I'm not using points for. We have 53 million coins, 54 million coins, right? What am I gonna buy? It? Spend a money on packs for right now. Um, these ones here, though. See what I mean? Like 40. Like that's 9,000 coin wins on just that one card that's gonna go into the set. If I do that five times, that's 45,000 coins profit off of doing one of these sets these are kind of flying off the shelves right now and somebody else is on it i knew we we're not going to get lucky enough when you buy a card and then it refreshes off of that it's usually not a good um like timing on it really ever do i like come off of this screen and then buy the next one up but i feel like it's better if i refresh it manually coming out of see what i mean like this one's here maybe we grab this one too we win we'll see if there's, a, if there's another one there for some reason ak's are kind of flying off the shelf right now that was a lot in a row. Then we get another one. No, 48. Let's refresh one more time to see if there's more there that I don't see yet. And uh, no, nothing. Kind of wild though with only 37 of those total on the auction house, right? This 37, 90, 91 AK cruise. Um, so for them to have that many good ones in a row is kind of a nice big win. And I know I started with 391. So we'll subtract those when we're done with this. Um, I've only bought a couple 90s. I don't think I had any 90s when we started. So those are all clean from whatever we got. Um, it's only been what maybe 10 minutes we bought a handful of cards already we should be able to do I think probably two sets right now we'll go through and do them in a, in a minute uh, and I'll show you exactly what we what we look for when I go to sell it just you know to make sure we're getting the, the right one wow that one's for 20 on the third slot there's no shot yeah I figured not Ugh, those are the worst we see it like last minute as I'm ready to click off if I would have saw it right away uh, I might have been able to grab it but no uh no such luck um and i tend to skip over these programs that are just 90s even though i go for programs that just specifically only have 91s in it uh 91s are just a little bit more they just sell a little bit quicker i think um i always feel like in, in my brain i don't think they are in my brain they're safer to sell the 94s and 93s uh, but people are still snatching them up man some guys they refuse to let go or you know there's maybe some people are just building ghosts and zero chill teams it's easy to forget when we have every card that we want that other people have, you know, like 80 overall squads and not uh, not completely flooded up. A lot of the guys just got the game last week with EA Play or, or Xbox Game Pass, right? The game came out free. People logged in for the first time. They're rocking around with like, I played against, well, I can't load up against one the other day. Um, just like a, you know, 87 overall squad in February. Like, oh man, like I feel bad for this guy. Um, and try to take it easy a little bit so they don't quit too fast like you know, like my mutt champs like yards and stuff out of a game instead of you know being up 14 nothing in like two minutes um dang that's a good one we're not gonna get it though are we nope when the prices are too close it uh it's like i expected to see a 90 of that price not a 91 which are not as jumpy uh to go grab it let's see the second row it's too bad I can't sort by like singular overalls, but that would make the auction house an absolute disaster. We just nickel and dime and everything, and you'd never be able to move. Um, it'd be tough to buy anything. Do we have that for 20 though? Like that's 10k off one card though. See, I like 90s at, at 20. That's okay. Those are solid. Um, let's see, 60, no dice. Let's try to go get some more real quick. Do not time 16 minutes. All right, so we're almost halfway through, even though we didn't start uh, right away at the start of the timer gave a little bit more time like to go look at the the cards but i think we're doing i think we're doing all right this is a good little click 30 minutes i feel like we're doing okay i have to do do more of these if you like these right this is gonna like show like a little bit of proof of concept right if you're sitting there at work you're like okay let me see what's going on um 
you can definitely do these when you get home from work but let me know if you like these and i'll throw some more out there make sure you guys if you don't know how to use the calculator i have a really good breakdown video for it i'll leave that down in the description as well and there'll probably be a tile for it for you to click on just take you right there so go check that out um to give you guys the like i said like the one-on-one -on -one, like quick walkthrough of how to use it or jump into the twitch uh, and or YouTube live streams that right now uh, for the next couple weeks we're doing in the mornings um, oh, 38 though don't miss that one. Oh, that one's nice 38 on a 91 is nice 12k on one card is a win um, easy money easy money on these Jeez, sometimes you feel like you're the only one out here anyway like I was saying come over and join me on the live streams on Twitch and YouTube about 9 o'clock each morning Monday through Saturday um, and watch us do this live. I like getting out in the morning and cruising through, especially right now. If you guys don't know, there's drops over on Twitch. They're really, really good. Um, it's a, you max out at a 92 plus Super Bowl pack. It was better if you got it before the limiteds came out, but uh, even now still, it's not bad to grab an extra 92 plus. A lot of the guys in my chat got lucked out and grabbed a 95. Excuse me, I had like a weird take up there. Um, I had no luck though. Mine were all 92s, of course. I figured out though, if I have bad luck on my pack, you guys have really good luck. If I have good luck, you guys are screwed and don't bother, right? Just leave the packs alone. If you're watching me and I pull a limited, just leave it alone, right? That means I stole all the luck. Um, if you're watching me get clobbered, open up rerolls or open up coin packs, um, you know, just by all means, then go ahead and open up. So you know that all the luck is still out there. And I didn't, go, didn't get anything. If I don't get one quick within the first like couple rolls, I won't get anything this morning. Uh, this afternoon when the new program came out we did pull a limited in our second roll but apparently everyone else did too because they sold for like 530 coins in no time um and it was minutes the program went live within seconds we had a limited i like he was down we couldn't get rid of him um so now we have a a fancy quick sell limited cam jordan in our binder forever and ever and ever until we get sick of him i have a bad habit of keeping old limiteds in my binder then I forget about them and then I panic that I'm going to accidentally throw them into one of these sets um, when I'm firing through 47. That's close enough. Um, give me a little bit. Okay, more. I think we're down like 500k so far. We bought just a good chunk. Um, yeah, I always panic that I'm going to throw a limited into a set. So I'm like, before I go to do them, I go to make sure that none of them are, uh, you know, way overvalued before I chuck them out. I don't know why I get stuck holding them, man. Like, Bijan's been in my binders forever. The carb is amazing. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's too sad to like let him go because he was so good for so long. I don't know, I forgot what I was looking for there. Playoffs 91s are hit or miss. There's still a lot. People still do this reroll, so you get a lot more cards than usual. Um, on Saturdays, like if you're going to do this on Saturday when ULs come out, because there's going to be so many cards and so many people opening up packs, it's probably going to be a little flooded. Um, so you can, I don't, I don't know if I recommend this because it's, super boring and super annoying um a big program like that people are going to man that was really good at 34 sit on that one filter non-stop um and you can do that are we gonna get we're gonna miss that one too damn it um another one maybe no jesus i didn't know all matter was gonna be so good people sit on that filter and just refresh over and over and over and over and over again but it would be too full for you to do that like to just go to overall like 9091 and go to ultimate legends you won't be able to it'll be too full um what you might be able to do though is go offense and defense on it right so you used to do that on saturdays with legends when it was like pumping when it was really good ones and people were opening up a ton of packs um we could sit here and just go on to legends right and then you'll go down just through offense and defense um just to see everybody um to know if you're gonna see all the cards or not though instead of going to newest just go by overall and the program and then come down here to time remaining right you'll see the ones that are ending the soonest but if you right trigger go descending you'll see 16 hours on here if this is under 59 minutes like if you're only seeing like 45 minutes at this screen right here um then you know you have to go down to offense and defense so keep an eye on that if you're not seeing the newest stuff then you're wasting your time you're not going to see you're never going to snipe anything if you're not seeing the newest stuff posted up um i really clicked the wrong button still got it though it's a 5k win i like it we got 11 minutes to go all right we're not doing too bad at probably we'll let this go all the way to, we'll let it burn out um and then we'll go see how much we got how many we built um and see and i'll add up i don't know off the top of my head right now but when i go edit this video down i'll pull up uh and kind of add up how much we're going to make off of them because i think each 
each 94 we're gonna sell for um what did i say it was like two are they 290 i don't have to guess i don't know why i have to guess i know i have the numbers right here um it is up yeah 290 280 right around there um i'll probably guess at 280 maybe i can get rid of it from a little bit higher but i'll keep a little running tally y'all can see on the screen how much we're, we're turning off of each set that we do or each card that we do um i'll average it out to the cost of you know the card in the set and then break it down that way that's a good one though 29 Ugh. all madden's flying out right now i don't know who's pulling 91 all madden cards um it cannot be somebody doing a set and underselling the crap out of them um 88s aren't flying out today so there's no way to really build build those is there's no 88s maybe there are actually are there 80 i think there's 88s in the honors program oh man if people are building 88s and just doing all that in sets that'd be awful no there's none in this right no okay maybe the weekly wildcard ones are being left over from yesterday opened up all those packs yesterday didn't get a single thing not even close. I forgot what I was looking for. Okay, let's go back. Start back at the top team of the week. We have nine and a half minutes to go. Um, What's realistic here? 10? 10 more? Maybe 10, 12 more? Pull this off. If this refreshes fast enough, we can pull this off. Um, AK crews are really, really good sometimes. Sometimes these get way overvalued too. So like, I don't even want to just chuck them out in the sets. Um, these ones shouldn't be the, the 92s though. Yesterday were crazy price, like 115 for a 92. Um, so keep an eye on those, the, those, the weekly programs like that. Sometimes it'll allow wild. weekly wild cards. Also the 92s can get wild. Last week I was selling, there was one 92 that was selling for like 200,000 coins. Um, so just that kind of man i don't know who really wants the weekly wild card ones right none of the cards really get me super excited but uh another another 91 for under 40 great um yeah none of the ones are gonna fit on my squad at all right now but I, somebody wants them apparently i'll take full advantage um for some of these two like not even for some of these but if you look up like i know my squad says 92 over there don't pay attention to that overall is fake i run outside linebackers at defensive end uh almost exclusively and that drops their overall down like they're both 96s but in my lineup i think one's 89 the other one's a 90. um i run a leo chanel and play matthews and they're both studs on the defensive line but no outsiders and work artist on um so don't uh, i know it looks like we just have a ton of coins and no team trust we have 99 mahomes on the squad um well it's a 47 with a 22 next to it we're not gonna be able to grab the 22. Um, so it's not all made up. It's not all made up. Maybe at the end of the video, we'll show this, uh, the team to a different video. I'll go down and break down the team on uh, why I throw people where they do. Lurk artist at defensive end is super underrated. For me, it throws people off if I send the defensive end into a hard flat and I blitz somebody else uh, to make sure I'm still getting at least a four-man pressure. Um, and then with Lurk artist, they're just jumping all over the place to snatch the ball up at some of these balls. Um, Henry did it during the, the Madden Bowl. That's how Greenlaw got that his pick later in the game. Um, that he jumped 40 feet in the air to grab as a six foot defender. Right after they were being told that he was too short, it's like, oh, he bet he wishes he had somebody else there. And then he proceeds to jump six feet in the air for a pick. Um, so, man, big dubs that height doesn't really matter if you have Lurk Artist as much. Six foot is plenty. Hold up. Nothing on that one. Ooh, I lied. Third spot, though. Well, third spot's going to be tough. You see something in the third spot, you're rarely going to make it all the way over there to grab it. Um, but still worth the shot. Oh, man, six. A little over six to go. I need, a, I need a handful more. I don't even know how many we grabbed. I have no idea. We'll take a look at the items in a minute once this ends. If you can just grab a little handful. I could use a nice little run. 48. No, we're going to be a little bit too picky. We're going to be picky enough to not grab that one. Again, anything for under like three, 4,000, I'm not typically a giant fan of. Unless it's like the last one to complete a set so that I can sell it and get rid of it. I don't like doing that. Um, you know, if I go through, like I go through and buy a bunch, then I go through and do all the sets and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm one or two off and I, I just want to get rid of these. I don't like holding these overnight either. If I'm going to build some of these, 
um you know slice some of these pieces up and then sell off the the sets um i don't like to hold it overnight just in case something wild happens and prices change like um i don't want to get caught holding that bag so if i'm one or two away i'll go grab you know one or two more for a little bit more of a lenient price more of a break even price just to sell it and get out with what i have instead of waiting too too long um i think we legit just sniped about a million coins of stuff in 30 minutes um, you don't need to do this with a million coins. You can by all means, you can do this with like 200k at a time. I'm just buying them straight and just running into the next one. If you don't have a giant stack, right? And a, you know, a couple million coins to rock. Um, you got like 200k. Like just go build 92s and sell those or build one of these and sell them off, right? Go build one, you know, just exclusively go for 90 overalls um, and sort by buy now instead. So you make sure you're seeing the cheapest one out there and then sell those up. Um, or, you know, snipe 89s and, or what are the 89s at? Um, I have it written down right here. Let's see, 89s at 14,000, um, or probably maybe a little bit lower than that now, maybe 12,000, um, and build 92s and sell those off. There's always something you can do no matter what your coin stack is. If you're super, super low, like you're under like 50K, um, use that same price guide that's down in the description. And like, I'll have the prices on there, at least for Xbox, I'm gonna have to speak them a little bit on PlayStation. Uh, but you could just buy, like, instead of buying this for 24 and throwing into a set, I would just buy it for 24, then sell it for 30. Um, makes things a little bit easier. We made a ton today off of our investments. We did buy a ton of 93s last week leading into today. So when those went from 85,000 to 130K, we made a nice big plus up. So make sure you guys are following along for that kind of stuff too. We won't do that again for probably another two to three weeks. There'll be small investments here and there, but I won't go in heavy again until we start snagging 94s for under 100k and that's take a couple weeks for that to kind of catch up and come down but every time you do it uh it all depends on how much you put into it but i mean it's millions millions of coins at a time and it's so easy too like on the days that like it's good to just go buy the next overall boost card um the 93s i don't remember what came out that day but there were just a ton at like 85,000. even the other day when the honors cards first dropped and no one wanted lamar um because they gave him no quarterback abilities like i don't know the game is just a straight it's a straight running back card um no disrespect to, to lamar or ravens fans like i get it i understand but that honors card is a running back card the only thing he gets is jukebox i'll use it because i don't mind laddering the ball to my quarterback on an inside zone um and be an absolute jerk and take off down the sideline but uh yeah for everybody else that wants to use him as a quarterback that's a no-go um, so nobody wanted it. So everybody was getting the 93s, just chucking them right back up in the auction house for like 85 to 100K. And I literally just bought every single one of them that I could, knowing that I was going to sell them today for anywhere from 130 to 150. They capped out about 135 uh, before they started coming back down. So I, only got, I got rid of all of them at at least 130, some for a little bit higher. We plussed up, I don't know, three, I think 3 million just on stream this morning. Between 130 and three. So in 90 minutes, we plussed up like 3 million just reselling everything off. Um, so it's not bad, not bad. If you if you like if you're just starting off, you just got the game not long ago. Definitely pop in and see when we're doing that next time. Build up your stack though. You got a couple weeks where you can start making a bunch more coins first, right? And then get prepped up and ready for the next time we do that. So you can make like three, four, five million coins in one sitting, so that you're prepped up for. I mean, you do that now. I think you're good for almost the rest of the year. Um. 50, you know, over 50 is absolute overkill. Like, I'm never going to go through all these coins the rest of the year. I, I have no chance. We buy every coin pack that comes out, right? We buy, like, whatever we want. And I'm like, eh, I don't know if we can get through all this between now and uh, really March when MLB The Show comes out. And then when uh, NCAA comes out, that we finally got the little teaser trailer for it today. Super stoked. If you're a sports guy, any gaming, it uh, it's a good time. And everything coming out. MLB the show looks great too, but we'll, we'll get into that. Those those videos and stuff uh, in a few more weeks. All right, 90 seconds to go. I need a few more. Not 90s for 32. I need 90s for like 20. I mean, like 10K a flip on those. Um, 91s, not good enough there. Blitz, I'm not really a fan of, so I'm going to skip those ones. Because we're down to the crunch time and try to go for the ones that I know, but I hit a little bit. Legends are usually really good, common enough. Yeah, good enough. That's 3K. I'll take it. Let's 
see what we get 30 nope yeah the refresh never good i just i should start restacking the all madden ones a bit more often because those had a ton come out in a row there now that i go start looking at them though they're never going to pop out again right it's playoffs nothing i mean close right close 48 we can almost do it but i'm not grabbing a card for you know 800k profit to me that's not worth your time at all not when you want to snipe up a million coins in 30 minutes a million coins worth of cards in 30 in 30 minutes man 30 seconds to go though i need at least one more at least one more if not we'll switch over screens we'll see how many we got um rip through and hopefully make a ton on it. oh we misclicked too i think it's one of our few misclicks of the day and like worst timing right as we're coming down to the home stretch let's see let's see let's see playoffs give me something good oh, i mean that's close but i'm not gonna pull the trigger on there we got one more open up i'm just gonna pull up all madden one last time and then see if we got anything there as the timer comes to an end i don't think that makes like a really loud awful buzzer sound but it, oh i think maybe it does <laughs> maybe it does Hopefully I didn't deafen anybody. If not, I'll edit that out and we'll find out. All right, let's see what we ended up with in the binder after 30 straight minutes of sniping. Um, let's go through. We got a bunch. Um, Whitworth at center, by the way. It's awesome. Whitworth with Secure, Secure Pro uh, at center is awesome. Then we added in the new Havenstein today, too. Um, where do you go? Right there. Uh, I put him at guard, too, out of position. Um, all right, newest. We ended up with... I wish I knew what I had before we started this. Oh, it probably was right here. Um, that's right, because we just got Jamal Adams that I jumped on. So that is... What? 6, 12, 18. 24. Um, 29. And 29 cards bought up in 30 minutes. That's not bad. You guys think it takes all day to do this stuff. It's 30 minutes we had to go through and do this. 137,000 coins in 30 minutes is not too bad 300k an hour is i think easy to do like i said i have guys in chat that come in and say they're getting 400k in an hour that's going to take some good snipes right you got to get, get a little bit of luck there but uh, definitely doable and easy as long as you're using the calculator and you know what your prices are you know what you have to buy stuff at it makes it just simple to go through and not not worry and not have to guess on what you have to do was well, i said we'll do more of these come over and catch me on twitch for the live streams and right here on youtube in the morning and we'll walk you through how to do it